When you're ready to play the tam-tam, make sure that it's standing at least a few feet away from the back wall. You're going to want to find the ideal playing spot on the instrument. And although it's slightly different on every instrument, so you have to do a little bit of experimentation, generally the best sound is when you play just off the center of the instrument. Even though it looks like a gigantic bullseye, you almost never want to play directly in the center of the tam-tam. Because the tam-tam is such a large instrument, sometimes you need to warm it up before you play it. All that means is you tap very, very lightly and audibly to get the instrument vibrating before you actually play it. The typical stroke used to play the tam-tam is a nice slow stroke using a lot of the arm. The most important thing is you want to use the weight of the mallet to do most of the work. To muffle the tam-tam, you want to squeeze it between this hand and your leg. You want to make sure that you're not wearing any buttons or chains or anything else that's going to rattle as you're trying to muffle the instrument. You can either muffle the instrument slowly by adding a little bit more of your hand and leg over the course of a few seconds. Or if you need to, you can muffle the instrument very quickly. In order to do this, you have to exert a lot of force. You have to really press the tam-tam between your hand and leg, try and get as much of your leg on the instrument as possible. If you're asked to roll on the tam-tam, it's always best to use two beaters. Another typical problem is, maybe you're in a band program and you've only got one tam-tam beater. Well, even if you can get away with rolling on a tam-tam with one beater at a low dynamic level, anything above about a mezzo piano, you're going to start to hear each individual stroke, and it just won't sound even. To roll, you're going to play on either side of the instrument. You don't want to play in the same beating area on opposite sides of the instrument. You want the mounts to be slightly offset from one another. When you're done rolling on the tam-tam and you're going to muffle it, you want to make sure that you use your hand but don't let any of the mallet hit the instrument as you're muffling. The typical problem with inexperienced players is they think of the tam-tam as an instrument that they don't have to practice. And while you certainly don't have to practice as much as you practice the snare drum or the timpani, you definitely want to play a few notes before your first rehearsal or concert to get used to the instrument. 